Zaki Naik is the Jake Paul of the Islamic apologetic world. Like, uh, what are you are trying to say? Could you explain your question? Uh, what I'm trying to say in the simplest, in the simplest sense, Zaki Naik is what we call a low IQ apologist. Would you like to have a discussion? Would you like to have a discussion? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You were talking about Jesus. What's your name? What's your name? Ben. Ben, okay. Bro. Um, yeah, so you were talking about Jesus being created. Okay, why do you think that? Because of the Quran. Okay, okay. So would you not agree that when we look at any historical figure, whether it be Muhammad, uh, so let's say if we were to look at Muhammad, we would have to look at the Quran, the Sunnah, the Hadith. That's the earliest accounts of Muhammad, yeah? So that's what we should go to to learn about Muhammad, yes? Okay, I'm saying the same thing about Jesus. The earliest sources they would have on the life of Christ are the Gospels and the New Testament. Do, yes? you, do you believe in New Testament? How many versions of the Bible? What do you mean by version? You mean translation? The NASB? The N okay. Give me a version. There are many versions of Bible. Give me the a New version. New Testament, the Old Testament. What is this? That's not. Why there is New Testament? So, Why there is so, Old so, Testament? So, 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 okay. Fourteen years. Let me, let me speak. Years. Let me speak. There is only so one Quran. Let me in speak. The world, wherever you go. Sultan, so you believe in the same concept? Okay. We have an Old Testament. We have a New Testament because there has been a further revelation. Okay. Namely, Jesus Christ giving his revelation. Okay. You believe in the same thing. So that argument you can't use. Because you believe, okay, that God sent the um, so sent the messengers like Moses to they had a revelation, they had a book. You believe Jesus came with the Injil, and now you believe Muhammad comes with the Quran. So you do believe in that same concept of later de not developments, but later revelations, let's say, okay? Because you would agree that Moses had a book, yes? Yes. Okay. Now, one second. You agree that Moses had a book, okay? But now you also agree that Muhammad had a book. Yes. Yes. Because so there are two books. So what I'm going to say now is, okay, that same argument you, you just used against me, I can turn back around and say, well, you had the same thing. So let's let's put that one to the side because that's a non-argument for both of us. Do you understand? Okay. So what I'm trying to say is now, I'm glad we're agreeing. That's good. What I'm trying to say is now is that as I agreed, the earliest sources on the life of Muhammad is Quran, Hadith, Sunnah, etc. We should go to that, yes? I'm saying the same thing with the Bible, okay? We should go to the Bible, okay? The earliest accounts of the life of Christ are the four Gospels and Paul's writings, okay? And when we look at these accounts, we see Jesus claiming things that according to you, he shouldn't be claiming. Okay, can I give you an example? You were talking earlier about creation, that, that Jesus was created. Well, when we look to these earlier sources, we see that Jesus claims the exact opposite. Jesus says he wasn't created, okay? Because if you read, for example, John chapter 1, verse 3, it says that all things that have been made were made by Jesus, and without Jesus, nothing was made that was made. So that excludes Jesus from creation. So what it's saying is Jesus is the creator. You believe in, uh, you believe in Moses? Yes. So before uh, Jesus, why did Moses came? Why not the Jesus came? Before? Say that again. Why not the Jesus came? Before? Why did not the Jesus came before? Moses? Okay. Why did not the Jesus? Okay. Okay. So in the so Jesus came because I'll answer that. Okay. Because in the Moses uh, book there were some things which were being changed by the human. Just, just one step at a time. That's why the most Jesus one, came. No, 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 one step, one step at a time. So okay. why did the Jesus come before the Moses? Okay. In this, okay, so you believe, for example, that, again, this argument doesn't work. It's, it's, a, it's a double standard argument. And if you're, if you're, if you're one second, if your argument is a double standard argument, it's a faulty argument. So you believe that Moses came, so why did Muhammad have to come? Well, okay. one second, one second, one second. I'm going, to, I'm going to answer. You believe to bring that final revelation, right? Yes. Okay, I believe the same thing. Jesus came, as it says in the New Testament, in prior times, God spoke to us through the prophets. Now, so one second, the one second, in the, the one second. In the prior times, God spoke to us through the prophets. Now he speaks to us through his son. Okay, so we believe the same thing. It's that we just stop at Jesus. We don't go on to some. We don't go. We, one second. One second, brother. We, we stop at Jesus. We don't then say, well, now we have a messenger coming along many, many years later. So we just stop a bit further back than you do. So the argument doesn't work. Because you believe in the Moses, then you believe in Muhammad. We believe in the Moses. We believe in the. Uh, but let's go back. Let's go back to my point. 
What did the Muhammad come before? Show, 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 show. There, there is like a revolution in the human history. Before, in the old times history, they were like old systems. So there show, were show. different types of things. The, the human was created. For them, the, the things were new. The laws were different. different. So for, for, for slowly, 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 slowly. For show, example, let's show down. School students, let's show down. For you, the teachers are different. Show, show. To college. The so, so, you're rambling. You go to university, you're rambling. So, so, stop, stop. Yeah, you're yeah. rambling, okay? Going back to my original point, we both. Hello? We just said drop the concept. Okay, so we both believe in the same concept here that there is revelation that comes after Moses. We both believe that. I stop at Jesus, you stop at Muhammad. So, let's go back to my original point. The reason why I don't believe Muhammad is the final revelation is because Jesus Christ, when we look at the earliest accounts of his life, claim things that Muhammad contradicted. Muhammad says Jesus was creation. Jesus says he's not creation, he's creator. But I, I just want to know, how you know that Jesus had this? How you know? Sorry? How you know Jesus had this? Okay. No, you will know how I know the uh, Muhammad said this. Because if I open the book, 14 years, uh, 1400 years ago, the Quran is written the same thing, which is which I can find right now. But how you know that the Jesus said this thing that he was not a creation? Okay, let me give you an argument. Like you have, uh, let me give, let me give you an argument. 21 years ago, you have the same book. Let me let, let me give you an argument. How do you know? Oh, no. How do you? So let me give you an argument, okay? Because Jesus founded a historical church, okay? And when we read, for example, the Gospels, one brother, so, so I just know one thing. I'm trying to get to it. You need to be. Quite you have long two testaments, Old Testament, New Testament. Why? We have so only so one testament. So 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 okay. We've already gone through that. We both believe. <laughs> <laughs> We've already gone through that, all due respect. What you're doing is, you're realising that it's not going too well. So you're falling back onto your original argument, which also didn't go too well. So all I'm saying is this, okay, is that the reason why I can say I trust this is because we have, for example, a historical church. We have the four Gospels, which every, by the way, Bible scholar agrees, the only four Gospels that actually take us back to the first century is Matthew, Mark, Luke and John. They're the only four Gospels. There are other Gospels like Thomas, that was written far too late, dated may, maybe around the mid second century and later, which actually contradict the New Testament anyway, okay? So this is too late to be. Okay, so this is, this, these books are considered too late to be considered authentic to the author which the, this book claims the name of, okay? So that's, too fa that's false, too far ahead. But what I'm trying to say is, that Jesus founded a historical church, okay? You have, for example, in the, in the Gospel of John. In the, in the, for example, in the Gospel of John, okay? It says at the end of the Gospel of John, uh, this is the disciple who wrote these things down and we know his testimony is true. Now, why do we know his testimony is true? Because it says, this is the disciple. So he was there. Okay, so we no, don't so, so, there, exactly. Right. So we don't have a name necessarily yet there, but we can at least establish this is someone who claims to have been there. Okay, and they named the people. One second, I'm getting to. So at least we know that this is a claim that someone was there. Okay, and this is the person who's saying I wrote these things down. Okay, but then when we get to this church that Christ established, okay, in Matthew's Gospel, John, Luke, Mark, we see Christ established a church. He sent out ap uh, apostles. Okay, so when he sent these people out, the church went out and preached a message, and this message went abroad. Okay, and when his message went abroad, these writings went abroad. Okay, and then you have people who received these writings, like for example, Saint Irenaeus. Yes, Saint Irenaeus was a disciple of a man called Polycarp. Polycarp was a disciple of a man called John. John the John the one second, John the Apostle. Okay, and what Irenaeus says, he says that these four Gospels were written by Matthew, the tax collector, Mark on behalf of Peter, John and also uh, Luke, the physician, he calls him, okay? So we have early attestation from church fathers who claim to know people who knew the apostles who say we receive, one second, one second, one second, that we receive these writings from those people. That's why I can so believe this. And this, and this has been, yes, yes, and this has been, and this has been, and this has been, brother, brother, and this, and this has been, one second, and this has been passed down throughout the church age. We have those writings today, like for example, those same gospels, Irenaeus, Polycarp, Ignatius, all of these early fathers, those same gospels they quote from, I have in my bag today. In fact, I have some of their writings in my library at home. And I just want to know one thing. Uh, do we have the uh, same Bible here and uh, somewhere else in the world is same? Yeah. 
and what uh, the New Testament and the Old Testament, they are the same. Okay, so for example, uh, you're an Orthodox he brother. He thinks the New Testament is a copy of the Old Testament, but changed. Is that what you think? No, I just want what, to What are you claiming? Different. What are you claiming? You, you, know, you don't know what you're claiming? No, no, I'm just asking you. I'm not I, I'm what asking is you. The New Testament this is my question. So you're saying, do we here in England have the same Bible as someone, let's say, in America? Is yeah. that, yes, we do. And uh, the Old Testament and the New Testament, they're exactly the same? Okay, for example, uh, in totality, for example, there are slight differences. For example, Protestants, okay, have taken out some books from their Bible, okay? Catholics, we have we have some uh, certain amount of books. For example, my brother here who's Orthodox, he will have, for example, just for example, he will have 3rd Maccabees. Sultan, listen. Sultan, listen. You've asked a question, listen. He, for example, has 3rd Maccabees in his Bible. I don't, but there's no there's no real difference in, in a sense. Yeah, yeah. So he has he has 3rd Maccabees, we stop at 2nd Maccabees, okay? I would give a historical argument as to why that is, so but that's a different case. The one, the historical which argument, is the true which one, one is it? Okay, so for example, him having 3rd Maccabees and me stopping at 2nd Maccabees changes nothing. We both believe in the same. We both yeah. believe in the same Christ. Everything. We both believe in the same Christ. I know we may have. Same. We may have a. I, my dear friends. Like my dear friends, Sultan. We may have a slightly different ecclesiology. In terms of the faith, we agree what is the faith. Okay, so, so there was no Uthman burning the so, Bible. So, so, so you have like something in the faith which is different. A bit. A bit. No. Sorry. No. No. Uh, okay. Okay. Something, something is different. <laughs> okay. I need to ask you a question. Oh, you know. So, for example, their Bible is better okay. or your Bible? How you know? Like you say, so your one is back. Can, I, can I say something? Can, can, can I say something? My friend, my friend. Okay. See, okay. But how you know that Jesus said uh, this thing is My friend, listen to me. Just listen to me for two seconds, okay? So for example, me and him, he's Orthodox, I'm Catholic. We don't believe in what's called Sola Scriptura, okay? Which would be like your Quran only -ists. So that argument could that argument could be legitimate if you used to say to an old Protestant Christian, you guys are missing some books, why do the Catholics have this? That could technically pose a problem for them. But for someone who doesn't believe in Sola Scriptura, that doesn't necessarily pose a problem. I can have a slightly, he can have third Maccabees, I don't. That doesn't really pose a problem. It doesn't pose a problem whatsoever. Well, it, does, it doesn't change the Christ we believe in. No, my so friend, what, my, that, 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 that changed the concept of no. the Christ. Uh, no, it doesn't, Christ. no, it doesn't. Okay, so you need to now prove to me why does Third Maccabees change who Christ is according to the Orthodox and the Catholic? No, I'm just asking you. I'm no. not saying to you that you, I'm asking you because I don't have much information. Okay, good. About okay, then if you don't know, please pay attention and take the answer and maybe look into it and get back to me. So him having Third Maccabees and me having Second Maccabees changes nothing about what we believe Christ is. We believe Christ is God. Okay, we believe He came to Earth, inc incarnated. Died on the cross, the exactly. We believe in the triune God. Third Maccabees changes nothing. You can't hinge an argument on Third Maccabees. It changes nothing whatsoever. Okay, brother, you said that in every version of Bible, you believe that the Christ is God. Can you please tell me, give me a reference in the Bible, on any Bible. I would love to. Where, I would where, love to. Where Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, say that I am God or worship me. Okay. Can you show me where it says I'm not God? In every version. In That's every fine. Version. That's fine. We're not God. My dear friend, no, my dear friend, okay, hold okay. on. No. I, will, I will give That's, you the argument me, right me, now. Let me complete what I'm saying, okay? Now you want me to show you where he said I'm not God. Yeah. Okay? Like, um, it is just like, you know, like um, you go to, you know, like uh, driving a car and you hit a person and you go to a rule book and you say, where is it written like, um, don't hit a person, how? So what I'm saying like, is, you know, can in, I every, give you that in, every, in every, you know, like verse of Bible, it is written that, um, you know, like I am doing this by the will of my father. My, my father is greater than I. Okay, he's not claiming that I am I'll, God. Okay, I want to go there. Me. I want to go there. Okay, I just need a yes or no. I'm going to give you a full answer. I'm not going to say simply. No, no, no. These are just theories. These are just theories. You, you follow the Bible, okay? You guys follow the Bible, okay? Yeah, yeah. The okay. Bible is a source of. Let me so, complete. Brother. No, but you're saying complete, we brother. follow the Bible. Yes. Brother, brother, Can I give you an complete, argument brother. from the Bible? Let me complete first. Then you can do. You're just repeating you yourself. Go on, let's go. Brother, the thing is that you follow Bible. You find Bible as a complete source of guidance. Okay, you know that the concept or the concept is same, like the Catholic Bible or whatever you say. Like um, it says that you know you um, uh, follow the Trinity, right? The Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. The way you're phrasing these is just nonsense. We don't believe anything the way you're putting it. It's not what we believe in. Put that on there, please. We don't understand what we're believing in. Bro. What do you believe you in? Don't just believe tell me. In okay, okay, we just believe in God the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Yeah, that's what we believe. Yeah, you believe in the Trinity. Yes. Okay? I want to get to your argument. Okay, I want to get to your argument. Stick to one point, brother. 
Let me get to your argument. Okay. So if you just one, <coughs> one thing at a time. One yes, thing at a time. me in the Bible where Jesus peace be upon said, like I am God, or you know, like uh, I'm going to. I'm going to. Yeah. I'm going to. Okay. Cool. Okay. So for example, you're asking for the specific words, "I am God, worship me." Okay. Yeah. Okay, what, one second. I'm going to give you not necessarily those words, but the equivalent of. Okay? Is no, that okay? okay? Just show me the. I will judge. I will okay. Judge. So, for example, if you go to John chapter five, okay, yeah. in John chapter five, verse twenty-three, Jesus says, "So that all may honor the Son, referring to Himself, yeah. just as they honor the Father." Okay. Now the question is, how do we honor the How do we honor the Father? No, listen. One, no, no, yeah, no. Listen. You're okay, going to okay, no, you, no, you, you, you are going to listen to me. Say, okay. Yeah. So, how do we honor the we Father worship through worship? Yes. Yes? No, no, no. This is. Oh my God, oh my God. Stop there, stop there, stop there. Stop there. Stop there. Then finish, then you say. So, we honor the Father through worship, right? Okay, yes, we agree. So, if you are to honor the Son, the same way you honor the Father, which is namely through worship, one second, my dear friends, okay, then we should see. John's point here, if he's really claiming Jesus is God by having Jesus say this in his gospel, then we should see people worshipping Jesus in the same gospel. And we do. Because just four chapters later, in chapter 9, verse 38, we see Jesus being worshipped. Okay, and I'll read it to you. In John chapter 9, verse 38, uh, he said, Lord, I believe, and he worshipped him. Who? They worshipped Jesus. Who worshipped Jesus? The disciples. Like, who said this? Okay. Who Jesus said okay. this? Okay, okay, now, now, can I uh, explain ah, you my ah. argument? So, no, 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 let me show you what, no, 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 you're going, you are, you are going to listen. You, no, no, my okay, dear, what's your name, what's your name, what's your name? Sirosh. Sirosh, listen for two seconds. Yeah. So let me show you why your argument is false. You're saying, okay, in one breath, show me in this book where Jesus claims to be God, where Jesus claims to be God. No. In one second, yeah, implying, okay. implying it doesn't say that, therefore we can trust what it says if it doesn't say that. But now I'll show you a case where it does say that, now suddenly it's like, oh, we can't trust all the words in this book. No, no, it's no, a false no, argument. You just, you just show me, you just show me. I just okay, did. Now I'm just going to say, I'm going to worship him. So what can you do? Is he God? I say I'm worshipping him. Okay. Did he claim he's God? Okay, so I, I am worshipping, excuse me, excuse me. Are you going to let me answer? Let's let me finish my argument. Let me finish my argument. No, no, okay? good, good, I, start, good, good I start to worship him. I'll okay? get to that, I'll get to that. Okay. Can I get to that? Start to worship him. Worship Did he claim that he's God? Can I get to that? I'm wrong. I'm Did his deeds show that he was God? Now you answer. Did his deeds show that he was God? Can I answer that? Okay, now, did his deeds show that No, no, let me answer. Let me answer that. Sirosh, Sirosh. No, he's right, he's right. You're all over the place. Stay calm, it's okay. Sorry. Uh, we've, we've got all day. So, for example, you said if, he, if you worship him, yeah. does that mean he's God? Well, no, of course not. Okay, he's not claiming to be God. Okay, yeah. Jesus no, is claiming to be God. How can you as I just, as my dear friend, you worship me. Yeah. all you're doing now, all you're doing now is repeating what he said. All you're doing now is repeating what he said. So you, you can, you can come next. Sirosh, Sultan, my dear friends. My dear brother, listen. And he claims he's God. Listen, you are you are going to need to give me space to answer. Yeah, sure. You're because you're not giving me space you say, to answer. You say, uh, I just want to ask you one question. I'll deal with you his, his question Jesus first, no, 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 then no, yours. No, no. His question one, first, you think then yours. You believe in Don't look at him. His man. question first, then yours. So this man is saying Trust. to you, you believe in the Christ. Just because like, I right, worship right. him, his question, like, he his question first, then okay. yours. Yeah, you take him over there, thank you. So, Siraj, okay, you're saying, okay, if you worship him, does that mean he's God? No, of course not. Number one, he's not claiming to be God. Jesus is claiming, oh. my dear friends. What do you mean, oh, how? Jesus, Have I, you claimed to be God? No, 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 I'm telling you. I'm telling no, you, show me that's how. That's how. The fact no, he hasn't brother, is how. I'm, I'm just telling so you. So pay attention. I'm, I'm trying to show you. I've yeah, already yeah, shown you. Yeah. Now what you're you doing, show me. I have shown you. See, Rosh, you need to stop talking for two seconds. This is a conversation. You're not giving a lecture, okay? So in chapter 5, verse 23, as I said to you, can a prophet say these words? Honour me the way you honour the Father. Can any prophet say those words? No, listen. No, no. What do you mean by honour? Honour, okay. Yeah. So, as I said, how do I honour the Father? Through what? As you said earlier, okay. worship. If we are to honour the Son in the exact same way, my dear heathen friend, yes. hold on, then we honour him through worship. Okay? So, if that's the case, as I said, we should then see people honouring Jesus the way they would honour the Father through worship and we do four chapters later in chapter 9 verse 38 they bow down and they worship him not only that let me give you an even stronger argument and who said this Jesus said honour Jesus, me like Jesus honour the this, Father yeah. Jesus said this so yes. Jesus said that so, let me give you an even stronger argument okay this is going to be the nail in the coffin okay 
I'll give you a clear passage. Do you agree? Okay. The God of the Old Testament is uncreated and eternally God. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Do you believe that the God of the Old Testament is uncreated and is eternally God? Well, I did not read Old Testament. My dear friend, do you believe that the God who sent Moses, the God who sent Isaiah, is eternally God? Yeah, he's eternally God. Thank you, that's what we're getting at. So now let's, let's see a clear case. Do you agree, okay, in the Old Testament, the, the God that Isaiah sees in Isaiah chapter 6 is that eternal God, yes? No, no, I, I can't hear. He doesn't know, but all right. Okay, let's let me let me let me make the argument. Let me make the argument. Right One second. Let me make the argument. So in Isaiah chapter six, okay, okay, Isaiah sees the glory of the uncreated God. Okay. How? Now, how? How he sees that? One second. Let yeah. me speak. Okay. You need to listen. Okay. So it says in Isaiah six verses one to three that Isaiah saw the glory of the uncreated God. Okay. Now the gospel you was appealing to, or we was both appealing to, John. Okay. To show your case and show my one, one. Are you definitely? Sirosh, okay, Sirosh, just, you need to stop. Okay. Are you definitely to the God or um, Jesus? Sirosh, stop one second. Yeah. Just stop. Okay. So as I'm saying, the God as I saw, uncreated God, he saw his glory. Okay. The gospel me and you are both arguing from to prove our case actually references Isaiah 6, okay, and says that the glory that Isaiah saw in Isaiah 6, 1 to 2 is Jesus Christ. The one he saw was Jesus Christ. So what's he doing there? He's saying that Jesus Christ is the uncreated God of the Old Testament. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. So you Watch are the saying blasphemy. that he is the uncreated God. Yeah. He's the uncreated yeah. God. You are saying that yeah. the Jesus is uncreated yeah. God. Then how can you say that the Jesus was born from Mary? Good question. Okay. So for example, that's what I'm saying. Like, okay. Okay. I I heard you. Let me. Let me. Let me ask I know you a question, what you're saying. You can say. If you say the same thing, it's pointless. You've already said it. No, no, no. The thing is that you claim to, you claim Jesus to be son of Mary, and the son of I know God. the argument. You I know the argument. And you're saying that the Jesus is the uncreated God. I know the argument. And yeah, yeah. I know. The, I know the argument. Okay. Wait, wait. Okay, so when we say your argument basically, let me still man your argument. Jesus was born at a specific point in time, therefore he's not eternal. Yes? Sorry, sorry, can you say it again? So your argument, let me still man your argument. Your argument is that Jesus was born at a certain time, therefore he's not uncreated. Yes? No, 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 I'm not saying that. I'm so you're saying, saying he's created? As you said in Isaiah chapter 9, someone saw Jesus. Uh, glory of the Jesus as God. And she the was, Jesus she was, listen. So listen. how is the Jesus created in the womb of Mary? I'm That's what I've just said. I have just said that. Yes. I have just oh. said that to you. Shirosh, you're saying this, and when I say to you, is that what you're saying? You say no, but then you repeat what you just said, what oh I just asked God, you oh what God. you're saying. That's what so I'm trying so to let say. Let me address it. Let me address it. I know the I'm argument. Asking, I'm asking him as a Shirosh, I know the argument. Shirosh, 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 I know the argument. Okay, so what we're saying is, we as Christians do not believe that when Jesus was born on earth, that was the point he was created, okay? We believe Jesus is an eternal person. So at the point of the incarnation, this eternal person entered creation and took on a human nature. There is no human person in Christ. He's a divine person who has always existed. And this eternally existing divine person had one... Oh, Sirosh, Sirosh, stop. This eternally existing person who is fully divine entered creation and took on a human nature. That's what we're saying. So therefore, he's not created he just took on a human nature at a point in time. Now I need to ask you, when the Jesus was born, did the other God exist or no? Did the other God? Yeah. Okay, that implies two gods. We don't believe that. You don't believe that? You we don't. believe there is only one God. Then what, sorry to say, well, then what kind of guy, God is that that cannot save him from being dead? What? Not what? what? Then what kind of God is that who, do not, who cannot save him from being slaughtered? Okay. Okay. So Jesus. Okay. So Jesus says, "No one takes my life from me. Yeah. I lay it down of myself." So what? Oh my God. So Jesus Shirosh, 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 Shirosh. Shirosh. So there is no God. The God is. Pay dead. attention. Pay attention. Okay. When we. Okay. This is another argument. When Jesus died, does that mean God was no longer existent? <clears throat> It's ridiculous. We believe, as I said, Jesus is an uncreated, eternally divine person who took on a human nature at a point in time. And as Saint Cyril says in his Twelve Anathemas Against Nestorius, okay, as Saint Cyril says, this may be over your head, forgive me, but as Saint Cyril says, okay, the death he underwent, he underwent in a human nature. That doesn't mean Jesus as the divine person ceased to exist. You don't know Christology. One question. When Jesus was Last question, because I'm losing my voice. 
Okay. What? Okay. When Jesus was born. Okay. Then you said Jesus is the uh, eternal God. He was not created. Then he took an avatar as a human. He what? Avatar, like um, coming in the. He took on. He took on a human nature. Human nature, like in the physical human. He took on a human not, nature. You, you don't. You don't call him human, so don't call him. Okay. The divine came in the form of human. Like um, in the scripture of human. It took in the scripture of. Okay, listen to what I'm saying. Jesus, the eternally divine person, incarnated, and he took on a human nature. Ah, okay. So when the Jesus was on earth, there was no God up there. No, that's not what I'm saying. Oh man. That's not what I'm saying. How can Jesus no. be at one okay. place, two places? Oh my okay. God. Then, okay, we, then why is he referring always to my father? Can I respond then to you? Why is can he I respond to, you? to my father? That I, you know, like I give life to the birds, I make sculptures and then blow them air. Let me ask then, that. Let me ask that. Yeah. For one, that's in the Quran, not the Bible. We don't have the story of Jesus blowing life into a clay bird. We don't have that story. That actually comes from an apocryphal account that the Quran copied from. But that's another that's another argument. Like the Quran My dear friend, wait, that's another argument. Yes, it is, okay. So what you're saying is is that when Jesus was here on earth, does that mean the, the, the throne in heaven was empty? No. We believe in the triune God, okay? So when we say God came to earth, okay, for example, like for example, Jesus is called God, okay? The Father is called God. The Holy Spirit is called God. But we see in the Bible, especially in um, John 14 and John 16, a distinction in the person, okay? The Father sends the Son, the uh, Son and Spirit, the Father and Son send the Holy Spirit, etc., etc. Okay, there's that distinction in person, but they share that one divine essence. Okay, so when Jesus the Son entered human flesh, okay, that doesn't mean the Father and the Holy Spirit evaporated and they no longer exist. That's not what we're saying. Okay, we're saying that the second person of the Godhead entered human flesh, okay, took on a human nature. Okay, then, one second okay, to rush, okay. took on a human nature, and it's in that human nature, as Saint Cyril says, that he underwent the death. Okay, so that makes sense. That only makes sense, which is which is why I can harmonise the passages that call Jesus man and that call Jesus God, I can harmonize these because it makes perfect sense under, uni under a Trinitarian uh, perspective. It doesn't make sense under a Unitarian perspective or the Islamic monotheistic perspective. Sirosha, so, thank you. I'm losing, I'm losing my voice, so please wrap up. Wrap up. Can I ask you a question? Like, do you believe that Quran is copied? From some places, yes. Oh, hold on, hold on. So do me a favor, do you have your Quran on you? Yeah, yeah. Open your Quran. Go to Surah 19. And this is going to be my last argument because I'm losing my voice, okay? Yeah, because I'm going to ask you only a simple question. Okay? Surah 19, you refer to this Maryam. Yeah. Oh, do I have it? Yeah. Okay, I can't read Arabic. Make okay. it English for me. No English, I haven't got English. That's a shame. Well, I just saw English. No, 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 I just saw English. Okay, okay. Ah, okay. So if you click on this, ah, okay, got you. Um, so if you were to go to the Quran... So uh, I need to ask so, you only a simple question. If the Quran is copied from the Bible, then how 1400 years ago when there was no science, no technology, how can Quran correct the Bible? Where? Like Pharaoh and in King. The creation, no, in the creation of world. In the creation of world. Uh, do, do you have the word in the, uh, of the creation? By the way, of by the way, if you really want to talk about creation in the Quran, yeah, the creation it's massively, con the it's massively the contradictory. If the Bible is a word of God, then how can there be a mistake? How? Can you uh, get me the word? If, no, if you know the if you know the argument, make it. I'm not yeah, going to make it for you. I'm making you an argument. Then argument. pull it up. No, no, no. I'm just. Uh, I'm asking you to pull it up. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm talking about the it's like it's like it's like me say, it's like me saying you. to you, here's an argument against the Quran. I don't know I what it is. Can you help me? Yeah, I will just help. Okay. Just one second, brother. <coughs> this would be the last ex exchange because yeah. I'm losing my voice. I need to rest my voice. No I don't have a strong voice like some other people. My voice dies after like 40 minutes. <coughs> Go on, quickly listen to the YouTube video and let me know what he no, says. No, no, no. Because uh, no no brother the thing is that because I don't know about the Bible in which chapter. Sorry, if you're going if you're going to if you're going to Zach and Ike, yeah. the conversation starts now. That Zach and Ike is a joke. Let me say this: huh. there, there are better. I've debated people better than Zach and Ike. Okay. There are Muslims here who are better than Zach and Ike. Did, did he claim that he's better than everyone? No, but you are. Then no, why no, are you saying no, that? No, but you're using him as an authority. And he's terrible. Yeah, because, because he's just he's, he's just bad. He sucks. He sucks oh. massively. Oh. He does. He's giving you reference at no. every at every single point. You can no. check it from no, Bible. No, Bible. Yeah, yeah, Zach and Ike's awful. 
How is it awful? It's awful. Oh, it's awful. Terrible. Yeah. It's terrible. This is what you claim. Then why are you not coming to the point that every time and we... Okay, if I, if I said to you, you <coughs> it's, it's, it's like me saying, okay, it's like using Zaki and Ike as a good argument against the Bible. No, no, it's no, like no, me I'm saying, it's like, it's like, it's like... It's getting a reference Siraj, from stop, the stop. It's like me saying, Jake Paul is a good boxer in comparison to Mike Tyson. It's a joke. Zaki and Ike is a joke. Zaki and Ike is the Jake Paul of the Islamic apologetic world. Like, uh, what are you trying to say? Could you explain me it's, the uh, What I'm trying to say in the simplest... In the simplest sense, Zaki Knight is what we call a low IQ apologist. I'm not saying that. No one's claiming. Did he claim that he is the one that he is the source of knowledge? No, one's no the Muslims that. appealed you to him. You said you had to appeal to the people. Muslims appealed to him as an authority, as you have just done there, which proves my because point. Because this person, because this person is available, like uh, on the uh, social media, that's what person listen to. Okay. If you have argument with a good Muslim, then Zaki Knight, right, then you can show us. No, sure. Like where is the person? Just look it up. Yeah, that is the reason because they're not available on the internet. So you have to, you know, like no, they are available. They are available. Are they available? Yeah, they are. And they are not quite famous. Yeah, yeah, they are. Yeah. That is the thing. That is the thing. Okay. Sirosh, thanks for this conversation. Okay, sorry brother. Just One more question, yeah, go one ahead. More one more. Last one. But, yeah. The question is that, you claim Bible to be the word of God. Do you? Or no? Do you? Okay. Then how the God can mistake in the creation of the world? Okay. That the science proof. Okay. You just stating that doesn't mean that's the case. You haven't actually referenced anything. You just, yeah, you I'm just, you just gone. Because I'm not. Zach and Ike. And that's it. Because uh, I don't memorize the whole Bible, that's why I can't okay. give you reference. Then, 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 okay, Siraj, you know what, Siraj, you know what? Let me rest my voice, okay? You look up the argument, come find me in half hour, yeah? In half an hour. Come find me. Floating around somewhere. Look yeah. up the argument, because at the moment, you saying, I don't know the argument, but I've heard Zaki and Ike say it. No, I, no, I did not hurt him. Brother, I did not hurt him. I read listen, 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 personally. listen. But you go into a Zaki and Ike video and saying... Yeah, to get an reference. Siraj, stop, yeah. stop. What I'm saying is you go into a Zaki and Ike video and saying, I know he's made the argument, I don't quite know it, but I'm going to try and listen to it quickly and try to then come up with the argument. argument. So what you need I to do... Right, I did something. Say, Rod, stop interrupting me. Stop interrupting me. Oh stop interrupting me. You just stop. You are just not listening, me, listening to me. You are just... I ask you a question in one direction, you give me an answer in the second direction. Like, how can this come... Say, come find me. Yeah, okay. Take care. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I tend to struggle with wrap-ups because I forgot what we speak about. Uh, he was basically all over the place. He was talking about, uh, I started off with Sultan here, um, I started off with Sultan here, who was basically trying to argue with the other guy that Jesus was created. I then tried to take over the conversation and steer it in the direction of Jesus being un the uncreated God. I made multiple arguments with his friend who jumped in. Um, he then went to some argument he heard Zachary and Ike make, which he wasn't really aware of, so he had to try and listen to it on his phone. And uh, that, yeah, watch the video. Thank you, man.